Okay, hi again. This is Alan. We're here for another video. Uh, here is a bundle of 18 one and a half volt AA batteries. These are all dead. Uh, over here, I got my um, My bifuller with the ferrite core, okay, sandwiched between these two neo ring disc magnets. And if you look closely under here, you can see I have a, I have a 12 volt electromagnet, okay. Now there's no electrical connection between the electromagnet and the bifuller coil. The bifuller coil is only for output alone. And uh, I have the two leads hooked up to my voltmeter over here, set on the 20 volt setting AC. Okay. Now, what I want to demonstrate is how the output is greater on a neutralization pulse than it is on the positive pulse, okay? Now, the power source is hooked up to a 12 volt DC transformer that's plugged into the outlet. I'm not gonna turn the camera around to show you that, but take my word for it. And this is the positive lead. Now, I'm just gonna brush the hot lead across the uh, electromagnet. Watch the volts. Okay, did you see that? You had a 15, a 14. So this is this is demonstrating that there's pure output coming from that bifuller coil. Did you see that 10 and then the 19? You see the two figures there? 20. 24. Nineteen. The output depends on how long you hold the contact. Too long, twenty-one. Too long doesn't make any difference for the for the duration of the pulse. Okay, but. The most we saw so far on this polarity is a 20. Okay, the 21 was the highest reading we got so far. I'm going to reverse the polarity. I'm having a little trouble getting this contact uh, down here. What I did was I twisted these two leads together last night. I forgot the hell I'm doing, which way it goes. Here. What I'm going to do is just cut this. This lead again. There we go. Okay.
Okay, now that one's over on the other side, and we're going to try to brush this. 19. 25. Okay, so now we're looking at the neutralization pulse, all right? You saw the 25 come up, right? All we got on the other side was, uh, was a 21 for the highest. Highest level. 31. Did you see that? That was an important figure there because that's what this video is all about. That might be enough. 35. Did you see that? The highest we got on the, on the other polarity was a 21. That was up to 0.35 volts. 34. Okay. This should be enough to demonstrate the point. We're getting at least a 50% more output in voltage from the neutralization pulse on this uh, on this um, Art Porter solid state type type magnet pump what was the 21 okay I'm, I'm distracted by the talk 23 the timing's important pulse width but uh, one last point the inductance on that electromagnet coil is 0.75 uh, millihenries, okay? And the inductance on one of these dead AA batteries is uh, 0.35 henries. So there's, there's a difference of uh, 4.6 times the inductance in one of these AA's that we have in the... Um, the electromagnet coil. So two of these double A's would be equal, the equivalent of nine of those electromagnets as far as inductance is, is concerned. And you can see this bundle of 18 double A batteries, there's a very strong pull to this magnet. But I did it is inside the circumference of that neo disk. That's the, the point I want to make here. The bundle is inside the circumference. OK, I'll go back and add to this on, uh, on energetic form. That's all for now. Thank you.